he basically just stays down the whole time and lets this guy run right behind him. Once he gets past that safety, I mean, it's just, it's just easy money. This is, this is wide open at the one play touchdowns you're gonna get. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff at the Mad Cheese, as always. Got an explosive passing play for you guys today. You guys know what I like to do. I like to make videos about plays, one single play, and show you guys how to home run every single defense in the game with that one play. Now, this particular play has a part one. I did a four-play run scheme yesterday, a very explosive four-play run scheme yesterday. Make sure to check that out. Link in the description below if you guys missed that. Other than that, let's go and get right into the video. The formation is the gun wing slot week, which is like one of the few formations I haven't touched on. I've done so many plays from so many different formations. It's oddly enough, I haven't done the gun bunch. If you guys want to see me do the Ravens gun bunch, hit the like button in the comment section. There's a lot of really good plays here as well. I try to go off meta. That's pretty much my thing. I showed plays out of just about every single formation in the Ravens playbook, with the exception of the one that everybody uses, or at least a lot of people use. I'm not a gun bunch person. I'm just not. I like to use stuff that's different. I like to use stuff that's fun. Uh, and that's what the Ravens playbook is to me. It's just all fun all the time. The play that I'm going to go over is the Raven double post. I would say the only real thing that you need to make sure you do is have your best receiver at this spot right here. I got Hollywood Brown running that. That's going to be the home run spot nine times out of ten, although it can change up based off what defensive coverage you're looking at. But for the most part, that's going to be the route. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. On the defensive side, we're just going to go with uh, – we're going to continue to match. We'll go with 4-3. We're going to start off – with Tampa 2 like we always do. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor, AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your MUT team up and support this channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code email. Don't use discount code money. Discount code email is a promotion they're running. We get 6% off anything on their site by using discount code email right now. So if you play that or any of the games that they offer uh, products for, 6% off, use discount code email. Check that out. Link in the description below. So in yesterday's video, I made mention that it's the most important thing, even when you're running the run plays, to motion this receiver in. It doesn't matter where you are on the field against what defense. I'm going to make that motion every single time. So if you only did it during the pass plays, your opponent would know. It would be a tell of what you're doing. So make that motion every single time. After that, all you really have to do is put the wire out here on a slant. Everything else is really semantics at that point. I could block my running back and block my tight ends. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but ultimately, this is going to be a one-play touchdown against cover two. It's all about the X route. So we're going to go. We're going to block everybody. We're going to give ourselves as much pass pro as possible. And then you can see how that slant keeps that safety down. We've got a very easy one-play touchdown down against cover two zone and it's gonna have a very similar effect against cover two man so we'll go to the replay this is a combination of routes i've used in a lot of different plays and a lot of different formations uh, as you can see he basically just gets inside of that safety and the slant is what kind of basically forces the uh, the other safety's hand as far as committing lower and letting this guy get behind uh, that safety. So very easy concept. Doesn't matter where you are in the field either. I mean you can run this from anywhere with this exact same setup. So we'll go and move the ball over and we'll do that again. Now the setup changes a little bit. You can see the receivers react a little bit differently based off of where you are on the field. They'll, um, you know, sometimes they'll be more shallow than others, but it's going to be the exact same way. So I won't mind giving myself like the B route here is a great check down. It's like a zig route. That'll be perfect for what I'm trying to do. Uh, and then you can see here once again, I mean, we're getting right over the top. Although there, he reacted a little bit better. Maybe it's because it was a shorter side of the field, but it's not really going to matter. So ultimately the <laughs> exact same effect. So it doesn't really matter where we are on the field. We're going to run that again. We're going to go, we're going to match with cover two man this time because it's going to be the exact same result we can do the exact same setup here we don't really have to do any motions or anything really like we can leave it just like this and you'll see how the x route there will get open the exact same way like the actual motion on cover two is not that important as you can see he pretty much just gets inside of that jam it's going to have that one play touchdown effect regardless 
and it'll still work out. So like you wanna do a setup just like this, this is fine. You know what I mean? You don't have to do any of the, the emotions or anything like that. The X route here will have success getting over the top nine times out of 10 if you have a good enough receiver. And it might actually be better in man because a lot of times they can run into one another. Uh, and I'll, I'll see if I get that look. If I motion this guy in because they're so tight and because I'm putting this receiver, this Y route on, in, on an instant slant, a lot of times uh, he can actually uh, get in the way of the X route. As you can see right there, it kind of bumps him a little bit. There are benefits and there's drawbacks because the benefit is when you motion this receiver and he doesn't get jammed, he doesn't get pressed. When you leave him out wide, the cornerback gets hands on him. When he's in close to the line, he doesn't. But at the same time, he could also get uh, knocked off of his route. So that's cover two. Cover three has a slightly different setup. So let's go and let's pick that. So we're going to make that same motion, but we're going to highlight the other route this time. We're not going to highlight the X route. We're going to highlight the Y route. We're going to put the X route on a streak, and then we're going to basically uh, hit a different crossing pattern here. So the only real difference here, I think the X, the A route pretty much has to be on a five route out. But that's it. Now that you're going to see the A route here, or the Y route rather, is going to be their home run play. As long as I get a good enough throw, I don't know if I'm getting a good enough throw. I should have bullet passed that instead of instead of uh, lobbed it. But you can see how that play really gets over the top. Let's do that again before I go to the replay and see what happened because I think I had way more separation if I threw that ball a little bit better. So A route on an out route, block on running back, streak the X route. That's all we're going to do. You're going to see how this this zig route here and this this route combo really keeps that cornerback down. As you can see, we're getting right over the top. And we're doing it with DeVernay. We're not doing it with Hollywood Brown. So you're seeing that we're not even using our fastest receiver. We're still having the same results. Also works against cover one. So we're going to pick cover one hole. All these routes are pretty much going to be cover one and cover zero, but you're going to need um, a lot of you know additional blocking. So the X route here is probably the best way to go. Uh, the A route and the B route are really good check downs, but I'm going for the home run. So the X route is definitely going to be the best one. The, the post route is going to cook any man coverage, cover zero or cover one. You just have to make sure you have enough blocking. So once again, motion in the X route, put the Y route on a streak. Got my check down, so I'll block my running back. Just really have to slide protection by time. And we're gonna, I mean, I could take the A route, I could take the B route, they're all really open, but ultimately if somebody's running cover one, this guy's gonna cross and be a very big, easy one play touchdown. We're gonna move on to cover four. Let's do cover four regular first because we're already set up for that. So this was like, like what I was saying. We're gonna go exact same setup, but we're gonna, the Y route's the way to go here. So I don't really have to do anything, I'll, I'll pass block my running back, everything else is pretty much set up. You're gonna see how the Y route here just super glitches out this cornerback. I mean, I'm, I'm doing short sides, so that's gonna probably be the issue that's gonna keep me from scoring a touchdown. I'll probably have to move the ball back to the wide side just because of the throw, but ultimately you can see it gets over the top of the cornerback. We'll watch the replay real quick though. You can see this cornerback, nothing lets this cornerback drop. He basically just stays down the whole time and lets this guy run right behind him, which is where you're gonna have your opportunity. If I had a pass led up a little bit, probably would've been an easy touchdown. So we'll go and do that again. Get our Y route involved. Said this route here, once he gets past that safety, I mean it's just it's just easy money. This is this is as wide open a cover four one play touchdowns you're gonna get. Then also works against cover four match. And this will be the last play of this video. Let's go let's pick that. Now we've gotten a ton of separation all all video, but against cover four match, you're probably gonna get the most. All you have to do is make that motion one more time and then put the wire out on a 10-yard comeback. That's it. I will block my running back. You're gonna see how that comeback's really gonna confuse the safety and the cornerback. And the X route really just gets right past them. Uh, which it covers, it actually covers this play pretty good if you don't make adjustments. So you have to make adjustments against cover four. A lot of cover four plays I put out really don't need a lot of adjustments. This one here doesn't need a lot of adjustments, but you need to make that comeback route or this will not work. So basically the cornerback and the safety have a little bit of a hard time communicating. By the time uh, the safety realizes it's his job to cover Brown, he's going for one play touchdown. All you have to do is basically just lob it up and it's kind of like a man coverage that doesn't really cover. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more plays out of the Ravens or more plays out of this formation, because I still have more on my Patreon and my Join Now community tab, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.